Hello everyone, I'm Yuti Hazo from Myanmar and I'm also a 2010 MPH alumni. After I got my MPH in 2011, I'm served as an assistant lecturer at the Department of Preventive Social Medicine in Defense Services Medical Academy. It's one of the uh, medical academies in Myanmar. Well, before I'm attending here the MPH in 2010, uh, I was as a medical officer in Myanmar since 2006. That's the year I graduated. After that, I have like a uh, few medical officers in different aspects of my country, Myanmar. And in 2008 and 2010, I served as a demonstrator at the same department, Department of Preventive Social Medicine at the University Defense Services Medical University. It's a kind of the helping the teachers and also the supervise the students. Uh, since I've done a lot of research during my careers, especially I did two policy research, namely the tobacco use in military community. That's a kind of we explore the what kinds of proportions of the military use the what kinds of tobacco, and we uh, we we'll like to uh, produce uh, some kinds of intervention to prevent the their tobacco use in military community. And another one is that uh, risk-taking behavior of non-communicable diseases in the selected military community in Myanmar. That's a kind of important research also because now that we are facing the non-communicable diseases in Myanmar also, that's why we are focusing on the what are the risk-taking behavior such as smoking, alcohol, drinking, lack of exercise, and what are the factors that influence the outcomes of NCD such as obesity. That's kind of weird exploring during the, this two research. At the end of the 2009, I got a chance to sit the entrance examination held by our own, our Myanmar government to attend this MPH in Mahido University. So fortunately, I passed and have a chance here to come here. At our time in 2010, we have altogether nine countries with a total students of 43 students. I still remember there are Afghanistan, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Nepal, Japan, Cambodia, Laos, Myanmar, and also Thailand itself. Well, let me share about the, uh, my experience as a student during my MPH time. Uh, you know, in the classrooms, there's a lot of international students from nine countries, also from the Vietnam. You know, my friend Tong is very expert in statistics, so we got help from him, and also. You know, Farouk is very excellent a funny student, so we still remember him. And also, uh, you know, there in the total of 43 students, Myanmar are 23. So we, we have the same environment, even we are in the Thailand. And we can discuss a little bit more than in our own language. That's a very nice student. For the classroom, well, you see this is very wide enough for the, all the students and the instruments are well equipped. And you know, you see, the agents are the very well qualified international experienced professor that teaching us during our MPH time. Uh, at the first time, I'm a little bit worried about what difficulty I would face during my MPH here as a foreigner. But you know, I didn't find any difficulty with the help of the administrative office workers. You know, Mr. Ott and Miss Critia, they helped a lot throughout the MPH years. Uh, since the visa from my country and so visa extension and also any kinds of support works from their departments. During our MPH times, we have a chance to go to the community to learn how the community works, what are the factors that the community happening for the diseases and we feel we have exposed them to them, the Thailand people with the help of our agents and the administrative officers and we feel very happy that because we, we learn a lot from, from the class and also from the field work and with the help of the agents, I have gained a lot of experience and lessons from these subjects and also I applied during my work after my MPH that helped a lot to carry my career goals in the future. In my MPH time, I did a research with the title of Healthcare utilization of Myanmar migrants in Mesa district. That's a kind of one of the uh, border area from Myanmar. And my supervisor, Ajahn Sukonta, helped me a lot with enthusiasm with the thesis to be accomplished. Here, Mahido MPH alumni, I'm encouraged the students from all over the world.
to camp and land in Mahido. You will land the public health fields in real sense and with experts. Yes, and be very happy and satisfied because Mahido is one of the most excellent university in Southeast Asia. I'm happy enough to attend this university as an MBA student and also I'm trying to get my career goals in such kind of camp, the very good university also in my career. I'm proud to be Mahido MBA alumni.